The Bear, Season 1, Episode 3, Thoughts. This episode is called Brigade. Yet another episode I love. So, spoilers for these first three episodes. So, yeah, we see Carmi at an Al-Anon meeting, and I appreciate the, the detail about... I don't know if it's said to be, like, healthy, but I do know a lot of people do blame themselves for, you know, like, basically, you know, the the person sharing at Al-Anon is saying, I feel like I should have taken away the, the you know, the alcohol so that he wouldn't have been able to get drunk. And she thinks that that makes her partly responsible for his abuse. That is something that I've, I've, yeah, a lot of people feel that way, you know, and yeah, so representative and really appreciate the smash cut from that to the stress of the, the restaurant and yeah, I don't, I don't have a lot to say about the, the stress of the restaurant. Just as, as usual, you know, complete, like, like with the first couple of episodes, complete mess. And it is, I really appreciate how this show displays the, the stress of working in the service industry. And, yeah, we see that, um, I'm not great with these names yet um i sweeps i think it was huh molly ringwald was in this episode was she the at the at the alan non maybe i like molly ringwald i didn't recognize her anyway um yeah sweeps has had printed the the menu from the new york you know yeah the new york menu of of Carmi and yeah you know had had that had it printed and had it hung up by his station so you know what what does he said it it inspires me because of the the colors and they they talk about how difficult it was and just holy crap just just listening to them talk about how difficult it was to make these things is just stressful even with you know we we only get a few brief cuts to you know f flashback clips but holy shit and yeah uh carmy tells said to to run a higher the uh, brigade and she points out this is not a i don't think this is a good idea and yeah it does it is very very stressful and yeah, you know, um, Carmi is, you know, having having the the meeting. Richie walks in and does the Richie thing, and just like I don't know what the fuck's going on here. That's stupid. That's a stupid name. Bye. I just yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> Ibrahim says, "I was in a brigade once. Many people died." I mean, yeah, I, I, I don't think it's the same kind of brigade, though. I think, I think this is gonna have significantly less fatalities. If, if I, I hope that makes you feel better. And yeah, it's very clear. Like they do not like the, you know, it's perhaps maybe especially Tina who really does not like the idea of, you know, and she's, she's still, like, when, when Sydney talks to her, Tina pretends she doesn't speak English. And the, you know, it's, uh, yeah, to try to shut down communication between them. You know, obviously it doesn't mean that if you encounter someone who says they don't speak English, like, a lot of the time they're telling the truth. It's just this particular... And we see that some guy called Nico calls, and I get the sense that in general, every so often someone still calls and asks about Michael. And yeah, it, it is one of those things, you know. How do you how do you tell someone over the phone? You know, he's dead. He he shot himself in the head. 
and now he's dead. You'll never see him again. You know, it, it, like, it's obviously, you have, like, it's a, you have to convey that to the other person, but just, like, over the phone, like, that's such a, so, so, yeah, it's, it's, um, yeah, I, I appreciate that the, the show features that, and <laughs> Sydney is explaining about the brigade, and, you know, when, when she gets to, to Richie, Richie does whatever the fuck it is Richie does. <laughs> You know, it feels like that joke that people used to say about, you know, what is, I don't, you know, what does a producer do, I don't know. Which, you know, I feel bad for producers. They work hard. They they do a lot of, they have, they have many jobs, okay. But, yeah, I, I don't, I don't think Richie knows what the fuck Richie does. And, yeah, the aprons, not super popular. I like when Tina is like, you two, you look like you joined a cult. And they just say thank you in in unison, just <laughs> which I'm pretty. They're fucking with her. That's that's them fucking with her. That's a that's which is the perfect way to respond to that. You know, if you're gonna insult the just yeah, the box cutter. God damn, put a don't put the box cutter there and slide it all the way like this. It's not a fucking. It's not magic, you know. You know how a box cutter works. You're all adults. Slide the fucking box cutter back. Put it in a. You know, don't don't. It's not just. Yeah, that was really fuck. And later we see how bad the cut got. How much blood there. Jesus. And the yeah, we see them. You know, Tina especially sabotaging Sydney with. You know, she she. First she agrees she's gonna do the onions, then she she doesn't, and she she I forget if she yeah she changes the the how much heat the the pot is is getting. I forget if she turns it up or down, but she she fucks with it, knowing that that's what it's gonna do. And you know she's standing there cutting onions for this really long time, and then they fucking take them. And I I completely understand why she gets really angry. You know, I, I do kind of feel bad for Sweeps because, like, apparently he really did not... Fuck. Am I... Shit. Marcus, I'm sorry. I really don't... I swear I'm not one of those white guys who can't tell black people apart. Marcus is who I'm... Who I've been... Marcus. You know, he, he does legitimately seem to feel bad, and, you know, the the veal, it's this thing of, you know... She's of course frustrated that he asks that he doesn't accept when she says I can handle it. As she points out, when it's Carmi, you just accept that you know. But it is also this thing of like it's not like she's not quite tall enough. She, the the you know I don't know if anybody put the the I think the box of veal has to be that high up. I I think. The, the shell, the, I, th I think it, it's only up there that the shelves are tall enough that it could be there, you know, and you're obviously not going to put it on the fucking floor, it's food, uh, you know, so, so just, yeah, um, and, and the, the finger and the stress and just, you know, it's, it's a, it's a really fucked up situation and I appreciate that, you know, when he sees it, you know, he doesn't, like, make a big deal out of it, he just, goes to help, and, and just, uh, yeah. And he doesn't ask her to apologize, because he gets it, you know. the Yeah, he told her that he did, it wasn't his idea, they made me, he still fucking did it, and she she's in a worse situation than he is, you know, so it's, it's one of those. And, yeah, I, I really like the, the entire conversation between... Carmi and, and Sydney is great, and I really appreciate that, you know, for all the stress of the kitchen and the restaurant, you know, with, with quick camera work and, and short shot lengths and, and a lot of chaos, you know, it'll, it'll fade between different things and, and these, you know, which is appropriate. This conversation, longer shots, camera's much calmer, the pace is much slower, because it's, 
it's just two people having a conversation. The the you know it's not so stressful. And yeah, I really appreciate you know Carmi. You know he's he realizes that she's she's not quite okay. Asks you know are you know what's what's going on you know let's talk about this kind of thing you know which yeah I I really appreciate and you know when she airs her grievances. You know, he's not, he doesn't get defensive, and it's not, you know, we've seen, Carmi can get defensive, we've seen that, you know, he's not always the most, you know, but he gets it, you know, he fucked up, and he's willing to, to then, you know, and I, you know, she asks, you know, she, she points out, you just kind of left, no, no, you fucking, you left, not kind of, you know, and he explains, you know, I went to Alan on my, you know, Mike was an addict, and then she like she. I really appreciate that she managed to to deliver it with. You know, she only afterwards she says she was. You know, but but she says, ah, uh, chef, I that's a little too personal, and he's like, oh, you know, and then she's like, ah, I'm just fucking with you. I feel like I get one, you know, and that's that was pretty fucking funny. Not gonna lie, that was yeah, fuck. <laughs> And then you know we 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 see that Carmi has not been answering the phone when Sugar called. Like you know he's yeah it's it's hard for him it's hard for it's you know it's hard for both of them uh, you know it's hard for everyone close to but but yeah you know and she she left the voicemail and yeah we get the detail that it's Mike's birthday you know so that's yeah. It's, it's like, you know, obviously Carmi misses Mike every day, but like, fucking birthday, that's like, that's one of the really, really hard, you know, and I, I say that as someone, you know, I probably bring it up way too often on this channel, but yeah, you know, my, my mother died when I was 12. So, you know, I, I, yeah, um, yeah, another excellent episode um, I don't think I really have anything right. I did. I did want to briefly say, you know, I do get where Tina is coming from. It is this thing of, you know, she's been like, fuck, she's been there for twenty five years. In walks this kid, and she's just gonna run things. You know, you. I. I personally, I hate this shit with paying my dues. You know, but. <sighs> If anybody's gonna run things, it's gonna be someone who's been there for a while, who's who suffered along with the rest of them, not someone who just got out of college. You know, it obviously that's really it's 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 a really fucked up situation for for everyone. So I I do really empathize with with her, and I really appreciate you know we we have there's there's some good representation on the show. There's a lot of which which again you know fuck. Last time, I realized afterwards that I fucked up. Obviously, I realized that this is in Chicago. It's not New York. So I'm sitting there going on about fucking diversity in New York when it's in Chicago. Yeah. That was not on purpose. I'm not trying to fucking say every big city in America is the same. I get that. But anyway, with that out of the way, yeah, you know, Chicago, very diverse, and the, yeah, you know, we have, like, some of, not not every single black person there is, like, an immigrant, but Ibrahim, Ibrahim is, you know, and, yeah, like, you know, the, the frustrations of being, you know, service industry worker who's an immigrant, and then, you know, I mean, at least Sydney is also a person of color, but she's still, like, she walks right in from college, and she's, like, gonna be running the place. Like, you know, you, yeah, you, you really understand why that frustrates the others. So, I think that is everything for this episode, but, but yeah, um, really, really glad I, I decided to, to start watching this show. Really appreciate there's, there's, yeah, so much good stuff in, in the show already, so, yeah, 
that is it for this one.